2023 was an extremely productive year for the city of LaGrange. The city was awarded the Visionary City Award by Georgia Trend Magazine and the Georgia Municipal Association for its vision of creating world-class parks for its residents. The city was also featured in Georgia Trend Magazine for this accomplishment. The city was also honored with the Georgia Association of Zoning Administrators 2023 Community Achievement Award for outstanding implementation. The award was given to highlight the significant achievement of the city's vision to improve the quality of life for residents and visitors alike through the revitalization of the park system, including the ongoing expansion of the Thread Trail. In July, the city held a dedication and ribbon cutting ceremony for the new Moss and Wood Park, honoring two influential leaders in the city's history. The park is named after the Reverend Dr. Otis Moss Jr. and Dr. Benjamin T. Wood. Moss was born and raised in LaGrange and achieved worldwide recognition as a civil rights leader. He became good friends with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and organized lunch counter sit-ins in the 50s. For over four decades, Dr. Benjamin T. Wood stood as the prominent black physician in LaGrange. Dr. Wood dedicated himself to serving patients in LaGrange and the surrounding areas from 1927 until his passing in 1970. Granger Playground received much needed improvements, including an added track track, picnic pavilion, additional parking, and a unique boardwalk structure. It also now has a connection to the thread. The city began plans for two other brand new parks, including Petal Park and Ridley Lake Park. Petal Park is a bicycle playground across from Berta Weathersby Elementary School, and it will provide a fun bike path specifically for children to learn how to ride a bike. It will connect to the thread trail and is currently under construction. Ridley Lake Park is a 45-acre, inclusive, and accessible outdoor recreation facility catering to our residents with disabilities. It features a 15-acre lake and direct connection to the thread. The city received an outdoor stewardship grant for $3 million from the state of Georgia to create this regional park space. The thread is a trail network consisting of 29 miles of multi-use trail connecting key destinations including downtown, parks, neighborhoods, LaGrange College, and Wellstar West Georgia Health, among others. To date, 11.5 miles of the trail have been completed. The thread is close to completing its first large loop with only a mile left to finalize a 5.2 mile length. The upcoming Nutwood Connection segment is in the final planning stages and the Panther Way Connection is currently under construction. Crews are narrowing a portion of Panther Way to accommodate the trail connection from the LaGrange College baseball field entrance to the existing trail on Forest Place. The thread plans to connect the Griggs Center to the George Harris Baseball Complex and also connect the Nutwood segment to the proposed Ridley Lake Park. The city is revitalizing the streetscape around the Lincoln Street and Garfield Street intersection. The project encompasses removing the current street right-of-way to establish a plaza area with a water feature, green space, signage, parking spaces, landscaping, and the burying of utility lines. Garfield Street will be converted into a one-way street. The city completed the streetscape project at the intersection of Main Street and Byron Hurst. The improvements include new pavers, handrails, steps, curbs, landscaping, and new gas and electric lighting. And on the north side of downtown, the city erected a memorial fountain in remembrance of the late District 2 City Councilman, Legree McCamey. The fountain is located across from City Hall and plays McCamey's favorite songs. The fountain's plaque bears a phrase he frequently used, Bye for now. The Georgia Department of Transportation continues its Hamilton Road widening project in LaGrange, though the completion date is still several years away. GDOT is also working on road improvements for the North LaGrange Bypass in three phases. The first phase, from Hammett Road to Lafayette Parkway, is tentatively set to begin in the summer of 2025. The second phase is from New Franklin Road to Young's Mill Road is tentatively set to begin in 2026. And the third phase, from Young's Mill Road to Hammett Road, the anticipated date to begin construction will be in 2027. The city of LaGrange has seen a lot of development in just a year. The Merganser Shopping Center, located at Vernon Road and Hills and Dales Farm Road, officially opened in August. Encompassing nearly 67,000 square feet, this shopping center features a Publix grocery store, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Jersey Mike's, and a variety of other stores. The Rail District is a mixed-use 11-acre development including multiple retail activations, dining, office spaces, green spaces, bars, and unique entertainment venues. Dash is transforming LaGrange's historic hillside community through innovative mixed-use development, featuring mixed-income housing and 7,000 square feet of retail and restaurant space. 
The Development Authority of LaGrange continues to focus on workforce development. One of the major successes in 2023 involved hosting a National Manufacturing Day event with over 1,200 high school students participating from seven different schools, representing four counties across the region. LaGrange has been selected as the location for the West Georgia Inland Port. Positioning itself as a central hub for cargo distribution, this strategic development will establish vital connections linking LaGrange to the Port of Savannah through the CSX railroad system. Remington Firearms is preparing to construct a total of 480,000 square feet in facilities in LaGrange, including its global headquarters, research and development, and distribution and manufacturing facilities. Remington is expected to put $102 million in investments in LaGrange and provide more than 600 jobs. The LaGrange Fire Department provides fire protection and emergency medical services to the residents of this city. Engines and ladders are housed at four stations across town. The department also contains specialized divisions that investigates fires, provide public education, and deal with hazardous materials. The city maintains an ISO class rating of two for the insurance services offices, which is the second highest possible rating, and ranks LaGrange as providing superior fire protection. The rating provides measurable savings in property insurance premiums for home and business owners in our community. Willie Bradfield was promoted to the position of fire chief in April 2023. He began his career as a firefighter in 1999 and ascended to the role of deputy chief in 2013. Chief Bradfield has obtained essential certifications, including the Georgia Fire Chief Certification, Fire Department Administration Training, and Fire Department Executive Training. Chief Bradfield was instrumental in making sure LaGrange Fire Department received accredited agency status with the Commission on Fire Accreditation through their Voluntary Self-Assessment and Accreditation Program. LaGrange Fire Department is one of only 300 agencies that have achieved this status, and the Fire Department remains engaged in the community through blood pressure checks, blood drives, smoke detector installations, fire extinguisher training classes, and all the city's monthly Leave in LaGrange Better Than We Found It litter cleanups. The department completed nearly 22,000 training hours in 2023 alone. The LaGrange Police Department is committed to fairness, compassion, and excellence by providing police services in accordance with the law while being sensitive to the needs of the public they serve. Garrett Fiveash assumed the role of Chief of Police in April 2023, bringing with him an impressive 28 years of experience in law enforcement. His journey began in 1994 as a driver's license examiner, showcasing his commitment and progression through the ranks to captain in 2019. The police department underwent a comprehensive rebranding initiative, including the transition of uniform colors and styles, along with updated equipment. This revamp introduced a fresh uniform shoulder patch, signaling a distinct and renewed identity for the police force. The LaGrange Police Department added five school resource officers to protect the staff and students of the 10 schools in the city of LaGrange. The department remains focused on community engagement, hosting several events throughout the year, including National Night Out, Faith in Blue events, Coffee with a Cop, and attending countless other events. The city continues to engage our community through many programs and events. Mayor Willie T. Edmondson envisioned hosting the inaugural Mayor's Christmas Ball as a means to foster unity and generate funds for a scholarship benefiting local high school seniors. The event also aimed to pay homage to past city leaders. Attendees were encouraged to contribute by bringing an unwrapped toy, which was donated to children in Troop County. Grammy Award-winning artist Regina Bell performed at the newly established Oak Fusky Conservation Center. The Mayor's Ball successfully brought the community together, raising $7,500 and collecting more than 600 toys. To streamline access to essential resources within the community, the City of LaGrange, in partnership with Troop County, the City of Hogansville, and the City of West Point, introduced the website TroopCountyResources.com. This online directory compiles information on free resources offered by local nonprofits. Additionally, the City will be placing free computers at strategically identified locations within our community, enabling residents to access this valuable information. The city offers programs for the community to get an inside look at how our city government is run. For our community members, we offer LaGrange 101, a free six-week class allowing residents the opportunity to meet with different department heads and learn exactly what the city does. This program usually begins the beginning of October. 
high school juniors and seniors are encouraged to join our LaGrange Youth Council to provide the youth with a voice in local government. These young leaders complete community-based projects, tour the state capitol and meet with state leaders, take part in team building activities, and learn more about how the city runs. This year, the LaGrange Youth Council, Georgia Municipal Association, and Georgia City Solutions hosted the 2023 GMA Youth Symposium right here in LaGrange. Nearly 120 young leaders from across the state participated in this event held at Great Wolf Lodge. The city's Leaving LaGrange Better Than We Found It monthly litter cleanup initiative continues to grow. Volunteers and community groups join city crews every month to help clean up our community. In April every year, the city shuts down for a half a day for the hundreds of city employees to pick up litter throughout all parts of the city. The Marketing and Communications Department hosts many interns throughout the year for young people wanting to learn more about city government. Interns then present to the mayor and council what they learned. The 2023 Kia Concert Series at Sweetland witnessed remarkable growth. The season featured 12 national performances showcasing a diverse range of musical genres, from country, R&B, bluegrass, hip-hop, southern rock, black gospel, comedy, contemporary Christian, blues, and alternative rock. In 2024, Sweetland introduced Sweetland Verified, a free opt-in program designed to give priority access to local residents in an effort to prevent unscrupulous secondary sellers. Want to be Sweetland Verified? Just show up in person at Visit LaGrange. From November to February, Sweetland transforms into Sweetland on Ice, a 5,500-square-foot open-air ice skating rink with real ice. Sweetland offered food truck Fridays and community movie nights, and 2023 brought record-setting attendance. Visit LaGrange was established in 2020 and continues to play a pivotal role in promoting LaGrange as a sought-after tourist destination. From 2019 to 2023, hotel occupancy has increased by 13% and hotel motel tax has increased by 87%. The Mulberry Street Cemetery Renovation Project, a groundbreaking initiative celebrating our African American and Civil War heritage, remains in progress. Omega Mapping employed GPS mapping technology to precisely locate all the graves within the cemetery, paying tribute to the historical significance of the site before the commencement of construction. Anticipated completion is set for 2025. Visit LaGrange also hosted the first annual Tourism Awards, a special event dedicated to recognizing partners who demonstrate exceptional service to guests. The word is getting out about LaGrange. Visit LaGrange saw a 400% increase in brochure requests. And lastly, to stay on top of what's going on in LaGrange, make sure you follow us on social media.